This is an easy and basic recipe for oven-baked barbecue chicken. An all-time great dinner meal. I'll show you how to make some of the best oven barbecue chicken from start to finish. I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. First, I'm starting by cleaning and trimming the chicken. I have a family pack of six chicken thighs. Of course, you can use legs or breasts. I'm trimming off any excess fat, and I'm leaving the flap of the skin on top. You can remove the skin, but it keeps the chicken tender during baking and adds a lot of flavor. You can remove the skin after baking. At this point, you can marinate the chicken in a brine, buttermilk, or seasonings that you like. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Next, I'm patting the chicken dry on both sides. Placing the chicken in a pan and seasoning both sides simply with a little salt and black pepper. You can use a seasoning of your choice, but I'm making it simple. You can also use a broiler pan or place a rack in a pan to help drain and catch the chicken juices. Again, I'm in a hurry and I'm keeping it simple tonight. Placing in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes and then we'll be back to check the chicken. You can find this recipe and the list of ingredients in the description box below. It's been 30 minutes and I'm giving the chicken a flip. You can see the chicken is producing a good bit of juice, and we will take care of that the next round. Chicken is going back in the oven for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes are up, and now I'm going to remove the chicken and drain off all the juices. I'm going to be adding the barbecue sauce, and if I keep the juices on the bottom, it will make a soupy mess. I'm placing the chicken back in the pan, skin side down. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce or make your own. I'm using a basic barbecue sauce and jazzing it up with a little raspberry jalapeno jam. This will add more flavor and a little more sweetness. You can jazz up a basic barbecue sauce with any flavor of jelly or jam. Raspberry, strawberry, grape, orange, peach, they're all good. You can also add more seasonings like garlic, minced onions, hot peppers, or even make it smoky with some liquid mesquite or hickory smoke. Make it your own. Giving the chicken a good basting with the barbecue sauce. Going back in the oven for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Removing any excess liquid on the bottom. Turning the chicken over, giving it another good base with the barbecue sauce, and back in the oven for another 10 minutes. If you like this baked barbecue chicken recipe, please remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You can also find me and more of what I'm cooking on Facebook and Test Cooks For You blog. You never know what I might be cooking. Feel free to share my recipes with your friends and family. Hang in there, we're almost done, and it's smelling so good. Turning the oven up to 425 degrees, basting the chicken one final time with the barbecue sauce. Back in the oven for 10 more minutes, and I'm also putting the chicken under the broiler for a couple minutes until the top is caramelized. Look at that. The barbecue chicken is beautiful. Letting the chicken rest for 10 minutes and we are ready to fix a plate. Serving tonight with some fresh corn on the cob and creamy potato salad. A traditional barbecue chicken meal. Nothing better. The oven-baked barbecue chicken is tender and juicy. Love the flavor. If you don't have access to a grill, or the weather is bad, or you just need an easy and comforting meal, this oven-baked barbecue chicken is a winner. I hope you give this easy and delicious barbecue chicken recipe a try. Until next time, enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.